The Object 279 Coton was conceived in 1959. It was supposed to be a breakthrough tank that was also able to withstand a nuclear blast shockwave. The development of the design started at the Kirov plant in Leningrad. The head designer was L. Torianov. The project was started in 1957 under the requirements of 1956. The pre-production object 279 was completed at the end of the 1959. Although three vehicles were built in total, the project was later abandoned in favor of lighter vehicles which ended the Soviet heavy tank programs due to the Soviet leader at the time Nikita Khrushchev's decision on 22nd July 1960 to stop the production of the tanks weighing more than 50 metric tons in favor of smaller and lighter tanks. The object 279 is in a position where its main gun can penetrate most things it faces and the large HE filler guarantees a one shot. However, the hole is weak. Unless you are in a full down tire, it should definitely not be relied on. The turret, on the other hand, is incredibly strong. The main armament is a powerful 130mm gun. It has decent ballistics, which is an extremely effective main armament. The secondary armament was a 14.5 in 114mm KPV Korshul machine gun with 800 rounds. The KPVT is a very effective machine gun, on par with certain auto cannons in terms of penetration and can easily shred lightly armored vehicles or even the sides of a certain MBTs thanks to its 45mm of penetration. The muzzle velocity of the KPVT is almost the same as the main gun, meaning it can be used as a ranging machine gun. It is important to mention a cramped crew spacing. It is like most, if not all, Soviet tank designs, where the engineers threw the entire concept of crew comfort out of the window. This is important when it comes to survivability of the crew. Whenever a shell is able to punch through its stubborn shell, the crew spacing is quite cramped and thus more susceptible to sharpener damage caused by spelling. On the bright side, most nations have given up on the concept of APHE shell at round this tank's PR, so the chances of one shots are reduced to a degree. Though there are unlucky times when a shell goes through the plate and hit the ready rack behind the gun breech. All around, this tank is a very hard nut to crack, but one should not rely on its armor to stop incoming projectiles. It shares at least some similarities with the T-10M. This special purpose tank was intended to fight on cross-country train, inaccessible to conventional tanks, acting as a heavy breakthrough tank, and if necessary withstanding even shockwave of a nuclear explosion. It was planned as a tank of Supreme Command Reserve. That was all for this video, hope you guys enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like us for further content.